the Nanlux 900C. I have been using this extensively as part of my van package for the last three months. It's been on set, on paid jobs, in real world scenarios. It's been outside in the rain, it's been inside on some super cramped sets. I've really tried to push the fixture and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the 900C. This is not going to be an unboxing video and it's not gonna be an overly scientific testing video either. Those have already been done. Just search YouTube and watch Luke and Andrew's videos if you want to see photometrics and better side-by-side -side comparison. Comparisons I'm gonna draw are between the Nanlux 900C and an Aperture 600D. Now, I know this is an apples to oranges comparison, but let me explain. I own a Sprinter Genie package and I have two 600Ds with F10 Fresnels that I carry and are very staple parts of my kit. They're used on almost every job. I feel like I really know their strengths and weaknesses and what I can expect out of them. These are workhorses to me and I've been using the 900C alongside the 600Ds and in some cases instead of. It's been a really great experience getting to use both of these lights which have a similar form factor from two different brands. I'm gonna start with some pros. The build quality of the 900C is incredible. In fact, I've also used the Nanlux 1200D, 1200B, and the new 2400B, and the build quality of the entire line is fantastic. The second you lay hands on it, you can tell that some real attention has been put into the build. The build quality is a huge pro for any Nanlux product that I have used so far. The next pro is colors. Now I have been used to the output of my 600D, but obviously it is daylight only. I'm not getting scientific here, but I can tell you that the 900C is brighter than the 600D throughout the entire CCT range. It has been so wonderful, not pulling out gels to warm and cool the light. And the HSI mode is also great too. The 900C uses RGB ACL emitters. Uh, the colors of this light are so saturated and so nuanced. The light even produces incredible yellows, which is historically difficult for any RGB LED to do. I also got to play around with a very interesting accessory the NL mount projection adapter. Now this is not a fully purpose-built ellipsoidal solution. It's more similar to a Jolico where Nanlux sells you an adapter and you're taking apart your Source 4 Lico and you're using the shutter assembly and the barrel from your old Source 4s. Now I feel like this on the 900C is kind of a sleeper setup. I haven't heard too many people talking about it online, but it works really, really well. Now I did do some testing with this and there's another video coming out about that shortly, but I put the projection adapter and the 900C next to an Aperture 1200D and a Spotlight Max, both with 36 degree lenses. And the crazy part was, as far as output goes, they were the exact same. I was getting 120 foot candles at 20 feet from both fixtures. And that is crazy because this is a 900 watt full spectrum light compared to a 1200 watt daylight only fixture. Plus, you know, this is my old Source 4 lens. I mean, this is dusty. I did not clean it before the test. The advantage definitely should have gone to the new fixture with clean optics, but I was crazy surprised to realize that output wise at 5600 Kelvin, they were the same. Another cool thing about this is that there's a thumb screw here and you can rotate the whole fixture. So you can rotate the blades, you can rotate the gobo, just like the Source 4 that you're used to. Another pro, not just for this fixture, but for Nanlux as a company, is their customer service. I have received excellent communication from Nanlux in dealing with any of their products. I feel like they are really here to support the filmmakers, and in turn, it makes me want to support them. And now for some cons, and these are not deal breakers for me, but rather things that I need to be aware of in working with these fixtures. Fan noise is typically not a big consideration for me. It's really not even something I think about, but when I heard this fan at full speed, it did raise some concerns. I could definitely see situations where this light cannot be too close to a microphone. The workaround that I've found is that there's an option to set your fan speed too low. When you do this, you limit your output to 70%, but the fans do quiet down quite a bit. In my opinion, it would make this passable for a more intimate set. Another con for me is the weight, but honestly, it's not really a con. It's just something to consider for how you're using it. 
I'm quite used to sticking my 600Ds on menace arms or rigging them off of beams somehow. Now, you can obviously rig this safely with proper time and equipment, but for me, this is not the light that I will be sticking on a menace arm. Um, so it will not replace my lighter weight fixtures in this regard. The last con is that the controls are on the head and not the power supply. Now, I have used the Bluetooth app quite a bit and I find it pretty quick and easy on the small sets that I'm working on. It also has built-in CRMX, which is my preferred way to control any light anyway. I do like having the controls on the ballast, but for all the pros that this light gives me, I'm happy to deal with having the controls on the head. That's it. This is my three month impression of the 900C. It is by far my favorite low power COB fixture on the market right now. It is especially powerful with the projection mount attachment. Keep an eye out for another video rolling out soon where I compare the 900C with projection mount to several other LED and HMI ellipsoidal fixtures. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please leave a thumbs up and comment below and I will see you next time.